So our last bit of work is to figure out how we will present our data in a graph. And here we have two choices. We can use our histogram and start by drawing an L shape, decide how to make your scale. Our hours just went up to 10, so I made sure there was a category to, to put the 10 in. The vertical axis is always for the frequency, in other words, how many in each of these groups. And then we make our bars according to how many were in each category. For example, here, um, the four and five hour answers had a total of five people saying that. The 10 and 11 answers, that group just had one person saying it. Once we have our graph made, we can describe the shape of it. We can use words like single peaked, double peaked, uniform, meaning flat, skewed right, skewed left. Here, when I look at this, to me, it looks kind of like a mountain, but it's pulled a little bit to the right. So I'm describing it as single peaked, skewed right. I do need to say whether there are outliers here, I don't really think my data had outliers um, because all of the values are pretty close together. My other choice is a box plot. And if I've been using median and quartile and interquartile range, it's pretty easy to make because I have everything I need. I use five numbers. I make a number line very similar to the, the bottom of the histogram. Um, my number line has to have a scale that will fit all of my values. Uh, then I put five vertical lines on my graph, minimum above where the one is, maximum above the 10, the median here above the five, the quartile one was two and a half, so I put that here, quartile three was the eight, and then I connect Q1 and Q3 to make the box, I connect Q3 and the maximum to make a whisker. I connect the minimum and Q1 to make the other whisker. Um, when I look at this, I can't really say much about peaks, double peak, that kind of thing. But I can tell if one side is pulled to the right or to the left a little bit. Here, this side of the box is leaning more towards the right. It's stretched out that way. So I would still want to say skewed right. And again, I don't think my data has any outliers. No matter which choice of graph you make, um, please make sure to include the following things. There has to be a scale, that makes sense. There has to be some kind of title so people know what your graph is about. And there must be labels on the axes so people understand um, what those numbers represent. Okay, hope it helps, and I look forward to seeing the graphs that you managed to make. Thank you.